A Pelton type turbine has 25 meters head friction loss of 4.5 meters. The coefficient of friction head loss, MOS, is 0 0.00093 and a penstock length of 80 meters. What is the penstock diameter? So we have a total head of 25 meters, head friction loss. Four and a half meters. A Morse coefficient of friction of zero point zero 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 nine three and a penstock length of eighty meters. And we're trying to look for the penstock diameter. And that is D in millimeters. We should first draw our problem. We know that this is our dam, and this is the penstock leading to the powerhouse right here. This is our water flowing in and into the turbine and so forth. We don't need to draw this because we're only concerned about the penstock. So the length is 80 meters. And we're trying to look for the diameter. We're trying to look for the diameter. Let's see if this is correct. Okay, looks like it is. So our first clue is we are given a, um, a coefficient of friction and the head loss due to friction is given by the Morse equation which is 2 F L V squared over G D. Now we do know our H sub F is given here. We also know our friction factor. We know the penstock length. But we don't know our velocity of flow. We're trying to look for the diameter of our penstock. Okay, so using the total dynamic head equation, which is h is equal to hp plus hv, hp is pressure head, hv is velocity head, hs is static head, and finally hf is friction head loss. Now we don't have any givens for our pressure, so let's assume that's zero. We also don't have anything for static head so assume that is zero and we are left with hv and hf so we do have our h we have our hf and we know that hv is simply v squared over 2g so let's write this down properly once again, we have our TDH, that is 25 meters. HF is 4.5 meters. And we are able to find our um, velocity of flow using shift solve. So if you shift solve that in the calculator, you get a velocity of 20.055 meters per second. Now we have everything we need to find the diameter of our penstock. All right. Let us shift solve this in our calculator. It's already here. Okay. And we get and stock diameter 1.3557 meters and if we multiply this by a thousand this becomes 1355.7 millimeters and looks like that is our final answer